Awesome. So, so put on a, a gut recording and then we go on from there. So thank you so much, um, Walim Sugut, for uh, the good work that you're doing, even allowing us to use this Zoom and also to come here and then uh, to be with us all the way from Australia. May God bless you. Thank you, Brother Kimalil, and also for leading us in this section. And thank you, everyone who have logged in. May God bless you. May God uplift you. And my prayer is that as we continue even condoling with the family, that God to keep on also strengthening us. I want to say uh, to send my condolences to the family of Kim Boy. May God continue to comfort you, my dear brother, and also our sister Winnie and the entire family, Jonathan, blessings, and also uh, Joe. May God continue to strengthen you in such a moment, especially when you are far from the from from uh, from home. Also, those people who are in Kenya also, we want to say Poleni Sana. May God keep on comforting you and God be with you. Before I pray, I want also to encourage all of us who are able to put on their videos, please uh, do that so that uh, the family also may see you and also uh, the family may also be condoled as you as we all of us continue with that program otherwise god bless you and let us believe and pray our dear heavenly father in the mighty name of jesus we want to thank you for this opportunity that you have given to us everlasting god we want to thank you so so much because of gathering us together to come and pray and condol with the family of Kemboy. Jehovah God is not easy in such a moment at a time like this, but God Almighty, that's why we have friends and we have those who can come together and strengthen this family even by joining them even in such a prayers. And God, we give you all the praise and we give you all the honor. Mighty Redeemer, as we begin this service, may you be with us. And thank you for the song that we are going to hear and the condolence messages, oh God, and even Jehovah Lord, all the speeches that we are going to have, Jehovah almighty and we present them before your presence jehovah god jehovah father we thank you because of how you are keeping encouraging us and also god for uh how you are keeping even giving us the ways even to fellowship together we thank you and we honor you in the mighty name of jesus we do pray with thanksgiving amen amen thank you uh mr grace Sandy Sanakwa, that powerful prayer for your family. So as we continue, because I'll be our cat and I twin I think to me but you to one hour. So as you put us up at Mwengine, Bali na and that two is a kuskiza another song, and then we'll continue from there. Karibu, Mr. Benjamin, good packing nimbo. Thank you. 
Thank you, uh, Mwalimu Sigus. Thank you so much for your nyimbo. Uh, kabla tujiendelea, ningependa kukaribisha tena. Karibuni sana kwa ibada siku ya leo. Kweza ku uh, Fariji Ndiwetu, ama family ya John Kimbai na Winnie with their uh, kids. Kwa hali ambaye, hali tokea kuli nyumbani uh, with the brother. So, uh, we know, we know many of us have gone through such things like this to me potato a loved one one time or the other i've been there and you know to separate, separate. na loved one always is so hard najua mali tuliko duniani kote unatembea sangine unatoka up country unaenda mombasa unaenda nairobi unaenda overseas europe uh, usa that is a temporary separation. Like any, we share secure kuwa this person you won't see him again, that Amanda. It's so tough, it's so hard. Maybe many, many years. For example, myself, maybe Kujapa. Nah, I live in the United States with my family. So my grandmother passed away. Na Sukwila Nilikona Mwaga na Mombia. Mimi naenda huko na panda ndege lakini nitakuja nitarudi kukuona not knowing that that was the last time ambaye nilimuona because after years kuja Marekani hapo kwenda mbio mbio uh, siku zake ikafika and siku muona tena so it's it's very tough to lose the loved one whether it's a brother whether it's a grandparent whether it's an uncle whether it is your son or your daughter it's tough I mean, death is tough. In the book of Genesis 2.17, we know the story of how death entered the world. Mungu akambia wan Adamu, Adam na if if you eat of that fruit, surely you will die. And we know the story. They ate, and then death became part of human history. Bagasaizi kila mutu anakufa. So, Yale ya mepata dugu wetu. Sisi wote tutapiti hapo. Nisize kujipa moyo, we are still there. But it's only when. So it's coming to everybody in this world. The billions of people, 8 billions plus people that live in this world. There is a day that they will leave this world to be in the next life. What God has prepared. So, and there is a popular verse in the book of Roman 2, 15 in Asema, rejoice with those who rejoice and do what? Mourn with those who mourn. So ndugu zetu jio ni eleo, tumekutana hapa, kutimiza hiyo maandiko, katika kitabu cha warumi, mbili, kumina saba in Asema, to mourn na wale wana mourn. So ndugu wetu kembai, you have a big family, you are not alone, mungu, uh, ku penguvu, na I know it's tough. Uh, you won't see your brother again, but kutaona tu maybe virtually in this kind of uh, situation through the digital media and something like that. But uh, let me tell you, brother Kimbai, we are together. You have a big family all over the world. 
we unapendwa. I mean, what am I, what, 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 that is the love to show that uh, we do care. We do care. Yeah. So, wakati huu, nitakaribisha the family, watipatie uh, the history ya uh, ndugu uh, wetu Stephen, uh, the brother to came by, ambaye ali uh, weza kutu pacha, na nikependa kukaribisha family ya kembai watupe history kidogo ya how the brother was karibuni. Yeah, we go ahead and win. Please go. Are you around? Yes, I hear you. Oh, yes. Caribou. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to appreciate everybody for logging in tonight. Now, not brave. For the history, I'm going to, or a little background about our brother. I'm going to give my husband and our sister Sally and they can say something small about um, our brother. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know what to say. My name is John Kemboy, for those who doesn't know me. Um, um, my family back home, we lost our brother Stephen. He's um, the elder brother to me and my siblings. I'm the second born following him by birth. And um, Stephen, um, he got sick and he's been sick for quite a while. Um, he has he had been um, in and out of hospitals. And out of as you know, as you know, he rested on 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 on, on Friday afternoon, um, and um, that's why now we have this Zoom meeting. Um, Stephen Ford, um, the bike, he really. Um, struggled with his uh, sickness, but we were able to help him by finding best hospitals, uh, many hospitals in Nairobi, and sometimes one time in Eldoret, and um, he got all the medication that he, we, we could we could um, afford. We thank God for he, keeping keeping him that long for us. Um, let me invite my sister Sally if she is listening, and then um, mm -hmm. then she can continue from there. Okay, thank you, thank you, my brother. Thank you, brethren. I hope I'm multiple enough. Yes, you're good. Okay, yes. so thank you so much for this opportunity. But maybe before I say something, I can I want to invite my family just to say poly to their to Uncle John, Charlene. And then uh, because they want to go to school. So I don't know whether you can see her. So that is Charlene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, I see Uncle, and I see Steve. Uncle Steve. Uh, we will miss you. We will miss you all in our lives. So, I would like to to appreciate all all he done he did for us. Thank you. Okay, Adrian will be joining us. Um, other is also yeah. I I have seen my friends. I have seen Jane. Oyenje, I don't know whether she can say something as I will wait for Adrian. Jane, 
ओके ओके फर्स्ट गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन ओह जस्ट थैंकिंग ऑफ ऑल द यूएस एंड द डायस्पोरा टीम फॉर कंसीडरिंग दिस मेमोरियल सर्विस इन ऑन ऑफ स्टील एंड आल्सो जस्ट टू से पोले टू द फैमिली and to remind you that uh, god is never wrong he knows why he's given steve rest at this time and just to to remember to thank him for the opportunity that he gave us with steve for a very long time so thank you Okay, thank you, Jane. Jane is our our dear family friend, and thank you for studying with us, Adrian. I can let me call uh, my son Adrian. He's in class seven. They also want to go to school. Others, meanwhile, as he comes, I want to take this opportunity to thank God, praise God once again. Mm -hmm. Yes, Amen. one as if we were. Yeah. So I think mm -hmm. as uh, we thank God this morning. I want to say uh, thank you for organizing this memorial service, and uh, I want to say pole to my brother John, uh, Winnie, Jonathan, uh, Joe, and blessings. I know you. It's very hard for you now that you are far away from your family, from us people in Kenya. I know John. You've not seen your brother for so long, so it's it's even more painful for you. But I just want to encourage you that uh, we, you you've been working with him this journey. Every time we go to hospital, you are with us. You call. We normally do video call. You call every time. You ask how is he doing. You've supported him uh, financially. You've even been sending your your reference song, and I want to thank him because song actually represented you, my brother. So don't don't. Uh, don't feel uh, i mean ju just be encouraged that i'm very sure our brother steve got it clearly that you when when reference came here separately and the certain actually reference came here i think in 2021 and we went to steve's house and we prayed together and uh, and even the other day just when he came before our brother passed away and it's like actually uh, steven was waiting for for that message from reference sang i also want to say even uh, be I, i was actually um i missed the way god works because on sunday i i also took uh, our blessed nyayo team missed it because i worship with i see uh, embakasi they visited my, uh, brother steven at hospital and uh, you could see the emotions when i told him reference mutunga and and the team is here to visit you and pray for you and actually yani alimfuata na macho akamwangalia kabisa so reference akamwombea aka akamwombea and then when they when he finished praying i asked uh, my brother so uh, you see we love you reference has come he has prayed for you so what do you tell him as far as he could not he was not talking he was able to whisper in kikale amwai gongoi and and we was all relieved I actually told reference I'm a same as Santi, so it was like a relief, and actually for me that was the last time I saw my brother because from there he was discharged on on Monday, and uh, to me because he was he, he had shown signs of improvement, actually knew and normally my brother used to get sick but he could pick he could pull through, and always come back. So even this time I knew as usual he's going to to he's going to. is going to come back he, he was going he was not going to go but it seems this time round uh the, the it was too heavy for him so anyway the last day when on that friday when um, Brian called me and he told me we need an ambulance very urgently so we look for an ambulance we i called my brother Julius and uh, we look for an ambulance we called the people the minute and the manmata hospital so the ambulance went and they were able to uh, pick him but unfortunately when they were on the way to the hospital 
he did not make it. So personally, I actually went to Matt Hospital waiting for him at the emergency. Then I called Prana, I'm asking him, you, you, you people, you are, not, uh, you are not reaching hospital. Then he, they told me, no, move from Mata, come to Radiant Hospital. It's nearer now where, where my brother stays. So then again, I ran, I, I took an Uber to my Panga, the Radiant Hospital in Pangani. While I was outside the Radiant Hospital, my brother Julius calls me, tells me, no, to come to Pangani Police Station. And now when I reached Pangani Police Station, the ambulance was there. My brother was just near the gate crying. So me, I knew it was bad news. It was so terrible. The next minute we are told we are going to Chiromo and I could not believe we are taking my brother to the mortuary. <laughs> but we want to thank God. So I want to encourage Kina Wini, Kina Blessings. Jonathan and Joel, when you came to Kenya, that was the place you went. That is where we landed. That is where we took breakfast. So I know you, you have those memories when we actually were in Steve's house and we stayed and we stayed and we ate. And so I thank God because of that chance. And again, I want to thank God even for last year when we organized birthday for Mama. We didn't know it was going to be the last event for, for us as a family while Steve was there. We went, if we had organized, we could have actually played the video, you could see him talking, he was well. That was in July last year. But uh, God has rested him, so let's accept. So John Tech had just uh, and let's accept he has rested. And uh, we thank God for the years he has given him, the 54 years. 28 was his birthday, in, he turned 54. Actually, last year, we did a birthday in, in this house. Uh, that's what I'm telling you. It's I was let's thank God again because He plans things. Because when that time Mama was in Nairobi, and I told my sister Florence, why don't you organize for a birthday for Steve? So we did a birthday. He actually was laughing. I can, yeah, you can even see the seat where he was seated, and he was laughing. He was saying, I, it, it, "I've never and in the cameras, why even your birthday?" So I go and check, and I said, "My, this is my amazing." So we did cut a cake with my family and parents' family. I it might take long, but we thank God. Uh, for Steve, I let's pray for Brian, Jeb Chumba, and Chimu, uh, that God will now, uh, I don't know what to say, let's pray for Steve's family that they be strong and that they may also grow and work for God. Our parents were to Funza, so for that continuity, because even as we went to Sunday school, we went through the church, and our mom did the best to to teach us the word of God. So, Alain Gitjo Mutia man, Mutia me singing at the Baror Tugul, Amugo Gibet, Gitanugo, Giongo, Sivarang family in Nenyo. As you know, um, most of our dads and uncles have gone. And so, these are the people now who are rising up to take up the, the leadership. So, the progress is going on well in Kenya. We normally have meetings. Adrian, just come. Before he goes, just say hi and then that's my. Hi, Adrian. I just want to say sorry for your deep loss. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry for you losing your, your brother, Steven. And to all uh, um, friends, may you comfort my mother and the siblings that had to what to Stephen and may you comfort them. Thank you. Okay. So so you can see they, they always prayed for Uncle Steve. So and we've been going there, we went to the house. So so brethren, let's just say let me say so we are saying the parole will be on Saturday and uh, Friday we'll be traveling home taking him now with the code for you and of course the DCI team. I don't know whether they were able to look at it, send an invite to one of them, but if they're not here, we are going on well. And uh, let's pray that we have a befitting send off for our brother. So thank you very much. If I left out something, it's fine, but thank you for organizing this. So John, be comforted in Jesus name, take heart and uh, Let's pray that God will, will continue uh, giving us that unity as a family, and even especially the family of our brother. Hi. Steve.
God bless you. I wanna uh, thank you so much, Sally. I want to give um Jonathan and Joe uh, just like a minute each to say something. Hello everyone. Um I'm Jonathan. Um I'm the oldest son and when we went to Kenya to go and visit our first time whenever I was in fifth grade. Um Uncle Steven was there waiting for us at the airport and he opened his arms, welcomed us and just took us to his house and drove us there in his in his Jeep and really made me feel like I was at home. And um, whenever we were there, we ate food, we said hi, we said how everything was with each other and at home. And I always felt like he created a place that I felt like I was at home. And I felt yeah. like I didn't um I didn't have like that like sense of like not being at where I where I wanted to be. And my second memory with him, whenever I went back to, before we left to go back to America, we visited him and said goodbye to him. And I even left my jacket there and we had a little funny memory about that and a funny joke. And he always just told us to be strong, do well in school and say hi to our parents at home. And whenever he would talk to us, he would always just be nice and be a good person towards us. So he always made me feel like like he he always looked for the best in everything in every situation and even now whenever he was fighting his battle with the sickness he I always believed that he would just pull through and always look for the positives in it even though he might have felt like it's not the best situation so for everyone here i hope that you can celebrate uncle steven and think of him and the good memories that you had with him and yeah uh thank you for your time here and taking your time out of the day to be with us, so yeah. All right, my name is Joel Chera. I'm the middle son here. I don't have way too many memories of Uncle Stephen when I was in Kenya. We didn't stay at his house for a long time, but like my fondest memory there was whenever we were in his Jeep on the way to his house and I was asleep because I was tired from the trip. Everybody else was awake and they were all like, they were all looking at all the animals and everything. I was upset because I didn't see the animals, but I never, I really wish I had to have a lot more time to talk with Uncle Steven. I always, I always got to know him, uh, my family, the story my family told. He's, I knew him as a fighter, as a, as a, a, a good person, you know, like somebody you could go to. And it's, to me, it's saddening, really saddening that he's gone now. Yeah, that's all I have. Okay. Probably, let me um, probably let Dina say something. And then um, my husband John will say something about his brother. And then probably continue with the program. Oh, as we wait for her, probably we can um, have John say something. <clears throat> I'm back here again. This is me. Um, I wanted to say something about really what I will miss about my brother Stephen. Um, I will miss his great advice. We grew up uh, ourselves. Our dad left us when we were young, and um, my, my my mom raised us really well, and um, when we grow up, we stayed as one, as together as one. Like all my siblings, we were doing things all together, and we respected each other, and we learned all this. And I'm just, um, my brother Stephen, yeah, we were looking up to him. I'm just, uh, I'm just Stephen to my kids, they will miss him a lot, and um, because my two sons met him and they have really memories about him. And when he passed on, they were kind of disturbed because that's the closest person they have known who have um, from Kenya, from the relative side. And um, I will miss him too much on his advice. 
he, he, he like academics, Stephen used to be the guy who liked to, he, he was tutoring us when he, he was smart and he was tutoring us on school. Um, I remember back then he used to like math. My celebrity was not good in math, but he could help me. So those are the memories which I, I really like about Uncle Stephen, my, my, my brother Stephen. And then um, I just wanted to say thank you to the team, my sisters in Nairobi and my brother Julius and even my mom. For we didn't lose hope for Stephen. We worked really hard. We really, um, we tried. But, you know, God's plan just came and we wanted to stay with him. And even, even if he was still sick, we wanted just to see him sitting on that um, wheelchair when he was not able to move. And um, um, praying for the kids, keep letting Jeff Chumba and even Jem Tai, and um, that God will help them, and we are here for them. If they really need anything, we are. I know they will need our help. I, I'm not gonna say if they need anything. I know they need me. I will be there for them to help them in whatever they need. And I wanna thank the the police uh, team, like the officers like led by the DCI, Mwangi and Jeff Jeng and the drivers. I know it's my, my brother used to have the drivers who when you got sick and they call him to come, he would come at even night time, they would come and get him to go to hospital. Early in the morning they would come and get him. They were not tired. They were perilously to help him and um, they really loved him at work. So may the Lord bless you guys and I really thank you for joining us today morning with us um, even financially you guys have been with us daily daily friends thank you so much you mean you mean a lot to our family thank you so much and may the lord bless you guys Jane, you stood with Sally for a long time i i Jane, Dina, i hear about you guys all the time you are our sisters we really love you guys and um one day when God opened the way for us to come to Kenya, we will make sure we come and visit you guys. And um, Sally, pass my message to um, DCI Mwangi and Jeff Jeng and the drivers who really helped to move Stephen around to visit him. Those are part of uh, people whom they will stay in my heart forever about Stephen. Also, I would like to thank um, Reverend Philip. Reverend Philip, wherever he made a trip to Kenya, he always called to represent me. I remember the last day when Steve was alive, uh, my reference was um, with him because he was in Kenya. He was traveling back to America and he was able to visit Stephen. And he, he, when he took the pictures and he sent to me, me, I was, um, I was down when I saw my brother, but still I, I was happy. Reverend went there and met him. And he told him, I'm here on behalf of Jeriot. They call me Jeriot at home. And when he talked to him, he told me his eyes were really open. He was seeing reference and he was following with the eyes. You know, he was, me, I thought it's kind of pulled through, you know, but we don't know. God's plan is different. Um, I thank you, reference, if you are here. Thank you so much. You, you've been a brother to me and our pastor. And, you know, you mean a lot to my family. You're my brother. Thank you so much. So may the Lord help you guys and keep you. Thank you, Pastor Chris, too. Thank you so much. I forgot, Pastor Chris. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay. Mr. King, I think we took a lot of time, but. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. So, yeah, this, this is your meeting, guys. I mean, no rush. Uh, so that is all glory to God. And thankful people who are Kenya. I mean, so that is dedication, that is a commitment. So we thank the people who are in Kenya, even other places that we are in different time zones. Uh, I think there is a big number of people here from Australia, if I'm not wrong. So I recognize you guys too. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for what you're doing. Vilen Konmesema, Kimbai, Winnie, with your family. I mean, you guys are loved all over the world. It shows how uh, people really do care for you guys. So 
kwa sababu ya wakati i know we want to say so many things we want to do so many things but again yeah we don't want to take a lot of time and uh people who have been reaching out to kembai thank you so much doing the phone call giving your 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 financial support please even a word of prayer let's continue doing that for this family so uh i'll just welcome the speaker for today uh we is good to uh to encourage the family and all of us that we are here tonight so uh a speaker that is going to share with the word of god uh kamoko tayari go ahead please praise the lord amen uh, i thought uh, i would not be hard but thank god uh, i just want to thank god because of this moment first uh, i'm call pastor caroline coach mrs moses coach first uh, of Tumaini Fellowship. As you can see the name, we have a church here uh, yeah, called Tumaini Fellowship Church. It's not, around, it's not around and we thank God because we are living again. We, we didn't do anything good to give to Lord so that we live again. Uh, I knew you through Pastor Grace, who, who is the pastor to Kalenjin Global Church and we work together. And first I want to uh, to say a word of condolence to the family of Kimboy and may God encourage you. We really don't have anything to say. We don't when we say we feel your pain, we don't we don't feel your pain. It's only you who feel the pain because actually we can't feel. It's it's painful. But what we feel for you is that may the grace of God be over you so that he, he will enable you to go through this pain. Uh, I just quickly want to share with us a first of encouragement through this trying moment. This is for the family of Kemboy and each and every one of us who is here. Uh, we will see from the book of Psalm chapter 46 verses 1 to 3. The book of Psalm chapter 46 verse 1 and 3 and this is uh king david is a writer of the book and it's during this time that uh king david is acknowledging the help of god is acknowledging the presence of peace from god at times in our life we go through challenges at times in our life we, we we reach a point where where by, where by by ourselves we can't go forward and because god is there we we will do more than now the, the family of kemboy they are in a trying moment they can't move forward they can't go back they are like stagnant but we thank god because he's there for us and i just want to highlight only three things that we get uh from this fast and i will read chapter 46 verses 1 to 3 god is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble therefore he will not fear we will not fear though the earth gives way though the mountain mountains be moved into the heart of the sea though its waters roar and foam through the mountains and tremble at its swelling at its swelling let's pray mighty and everlasting father thank you because of this moment jova king of glory you've started with us and still going on with us as i'm sharing this word with my beloved in christ lord we pray so that you you may encourage us all of us with your word and with everything we are doing in jesus name i pray So I I said I, I just want to highlight only three things that we find in this fast. In fast one we can read that God is our refuge and strength and a very present help in trouble. Sometimes someone is sick and could make in life. Sometimes someone has money and money is gone. Sometimes something happens to someone and life will never remain the same again 
but with God, it will remain the same because of what we are going to see. Sorry about that. Uh, one, when we say God is there for us, what do we mean? First, we will see in, in first one, part one, God is our refuge. And what do we mean by when we say God is our refuge? What do we mean by that? With worldly explanation, we can mean many things, but we are saying in the meaning of the Bible. A refuge is that the protection from danger. It has happened, but still, are we still living? What next? What next with our life? God is our refuge. And this is when King David, he was pursued by his enemies. Then he realized that life was at its peak where, where he was not happy anymore. Life was, his life was in danger. And he realized that only the only refuge where I can run away from danger or I can be protected from danger is inside God himself. I want to tell the family of Kemboy at this trying moment, no one, even the best people, the best counselors in the world will not help you. We have the best counselor, which is the word of God. God is our refuge. And at this time, when we run to him, I've had uh, testimonies when, when yeah, your kids were talking and even the brother was talking and the sister about the testimony about the, the, the brother. And those memories will live among you. And now we want to, 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 to encourage us that when we run to God, even relatives, the people will come and say sorry, the people will come and say words of encouragement. But what will remain is God who will be our refuge. And if you read in Psalm 91, it first, first one and following, that I'm going, I'm not going to read. Psalm 91 is a reference for protecting from danger. God is our refuge. Number two, God is, uh, is said, and strength, refuge and strength. What do we mean by strength? This is the time the family of Kemboy needs a lot of strength. And we can't find anywhere. We can't find from, family is weak now. All the family members, all the relatives, all the friends, they are very weak now because this is the trying moment because they've lost their loved one. But where do we find the, the strength? Where do we find an ability to endure? It's only from God. And that is what we've come here as, as, as friends from church, as friends from maybe workplace, as friends from where we live together, to say that God is with you, to say that God is strength. He gives you strength. He will give you ability to endure. And with reference, when we refer to the book of Psalm 73, verse 26, and Isaiah 40, verse 3, you will go and read. That is uh, for your reading. God is your strength at this trying moment. Yes, he is gone. But remember, God is, will not leave you alone. God is going to give you ability to endure through this trying moment. With us as friends, we are, not, we are mourning as well because we are your friends. And we ask God to give us strength to endure. You will endure as family members, you will endure as kids, you will endure as friends, and everyone who is connected to you, we will endure because God gives us strength. And the last word we find from this past is present help. What does it mean when we say present help? Sometimes when someone is sick, we rush to the hospital. Some, sometimes when we need money, we go to the bank to borrow money. Some, when we need help, we go to the worldly uh, places of help. But remember when Christ, uh, in John chapter 14, when Christ was living, he told his disciples that I'm going to find a way that when I come back, I will take you. But what I am going to leave you is peace that no man will give you. Sometimes we have peace. We have things which can give us peace in this world. We might have enough money to, to maintain us, but peace that comes from Christ, no man will give. And I'm going to tell the family of Kemboy at this time that when God is our refuge, when God is our strength, and God is a present help that always is there with us. Okay, we are bereaved. Some one of us is no longer there. 
but still the, pre the ever present help which is God and the Holy Spirit is going to be with us and that is what we are praying as believers that is what we are praying as uh, friends that God will give you his only peace that no man will give you uh, when we read in John chapter 14 verses 27 Christ is saying I will give you peace that surpasses human understanding it's not it's not mad men it's not made of sophisticated machines but it's only from God that's what I wanted to tell us this evening in where you are this uh, afternoon in where we are and this morning in Kenya and other places may the Lord bless us may the Lord encourage the family of Cambodia and the friends and the church members and the workmates may the Lord be with you May the Lord be a refuge at this time. May the Lord be strength, give you ability to endure. And may the Lord give you his peace, that being an ever present help. Thank you. Sante, thank you so much, Pastor Caroline Koich, for that powerful word. Mungu kubariki sana. I hope uh, Kilam Tuame Pata something from that. A uh, very encouraging word from our sister. Mungo kubariki na familia yako. So, Saizi, for Fupi 2, we are going to hear one song. Alafu, takaribisha pachungaji, pia hoeze kusema jambo. Going to play a song here. the very promise of the Lord and whether you believe it or not we can really say a song that I put together some time ago but it says soon and very soon we're going to see the king if you feel like clapping your hands do so it's okay
Yes. Hallelujah. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Praise the Lord. So uh, I just want to take this time to uh, invite the pastors and by you may make up Mujanasi. So uh, welcome na juu kuna wachungaji wengi ambaye uh, wana juu ndugu yetu Kimbai and they have been really part of uh, yeah, maisha ya kim, uh, family ya Kimbai especially watoto na uh, the mom na wakati huu any pastor ambaye yako around please uh, karibu tuweze ku sema a word of encouragement to the family Let's go ahead and start with Reverend Philip Sir. Karibu Philip Sir. Reverend. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ya kuna naitwa Philip Sir. Nampenda Yesu. Ah wakati huu acha nichukue nafasi hii ah kuweza kusema pole to the family of uh, my brother John Kemboy uh, and friends kwa msiba huu ambao uh, um, uh, tupata zote um, i have a lot to say but i just want to say this that uh, uh, Stephen i've been close to him especially when i go to Kenya I remember the first time I went to Kenya with uh, uh, Kemboy's sons, uh, Jonathan and Joe. Uh, he met us uh, at the, in the airport and uh, everybody came, the whole family actually came to receive uh, Jonathan and Joe. Those memories I can't forget. I remember uh, talking to Stephen and uh, he told me that Chariot is my uh, younger brother, he comes after me. And so uh, I got to learn that he was such a senior, senior person uh, in the Republic of Kenya and he had served in many, many places. Um, uh, John did not say this or the family did not say, but uh, Stephen is, 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 is a senior uh, government officer and, uh, and, and he had a lot of command in, in terms of uh, those who uh, worked with him, respected him so, so much. Um, and I know this will be said more uh, during uh, his send off. But uh, every time I went to Kenya, I made sure that I, I saw him. And uh, the second time I went 2021, uh, it was, um, it, it, he was in hospital that time. And I went, saw him, prayed with him in uh, uh, South Sea Hospital. And, uh, and, and again, uh, the last time before I came back to the US, I went to his house, he had been discharged. And the whole family, actually it was like a family gathering. Uh, we had uh, such a wonderful time praising and uh, praying together uh, with the family, Sally, uh, Florence, uh, Julius, almost everybody was there but mom. Uh, but uh, uh, that those memories still uh, linger with me. And this time around when I went, uh, I was able to go also see mom uh, in uh, Cabrisang. And uh, the time I went was when she had just came from Nairobi uh, to see Stephen. And uh, he told me that uh, Stephen was still fighting and uh, I was not really very well. And so on my way, I went, saw him and talked to him and uh, he was not responding, but he could hear everything that I said. And I told him, you know, your brother Jeruot is not able to come, but I'm here on his behalf. And so uh, when I told him that, uh, he nodded, he could not, you could see he was trying to, to, to talk to me, but uh, he could not. And then I asked him, what do I uh, go and tell him? Uh, you know, he loves you. And um, uh, he, he tried talking, 
um, responding. And um, from that point, I, uh, his, his son, uh, Kibleting, um, I was able to wipe tears from his eyes, I can remember. Um, I shed tears. And uh, John, mm. your brother loves you. John, your brother knows that uh, you care for him. And uh, the family, you've done all you could for the many years that he has uh, lived and uh, struggled with the illness that he had. Uh, you've done your best. I want just to say, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord comfort you. May the Lord give you strength, as uh, the minister said, that we can all rely from the strength, strength from above. And one thing we know is that those memories you shared with him will never be taken away. They will always keep you going knowing that all of us who have faith in Jesus Christ, we will be gathered again when that time call, comes, when God, the Lord calls us home. So it is not the end of it. We have a life to live after this. May the Lord be with you, even as we wait for that day to say uh, our goodbyes and uh, be able to uh, share together with others. I want to encourage you that be strong in the Lord. And we are praying for you and the Lord will be with you. God bless you. Thank you, Reverend. Uh, any more pastors we have in the group, please, uh, you're welcome. Okay, uh, my name is Pastor Clarence. I will speak in uh, my behalf and on behalf of Irene. Um, and uh, first and foremost is to give our condolences to the family of Yomboi for losing your elder brother and uh, to just pray for God's comfort. I think a lot has been spoken uh, and I don't need to repeat, you know, most of what has been said. So again, my condolences, we are praying for you and, uh, you know, supporting you. You're not alone in this. Um, most of us understand you know, being uh, bereaved. Of course, every case is unique, but uh, we're here for you. And just the fact that there are people here that have, you know, showed up, it means they, they want to, you know, just work with you through this process, this season of grief. So I, our prayer is that God's grace will be uh, with you and that in this time, he'll give you the comfort that you need. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Clarence. Each of the pilots is looking after the safety of the passengers on board. So, at this list, one yeah, the floor is still uh, open to any pastor who is who join us tonight. Any pastor from Kenya or any other place, please welcome. And how much safety and how many levels of safety there are to prevent these things from happening. Well, kama atuna mchungaji yote ambaye anataka kusema jambo I hope sije fungie mtu nje na we see the time is really gone. Uh, it's getting late in the US so uh ningependa tu kufungua floor to anybody that want to say anything to the family. Na kama kuna mtu Kenya ambaye you want to say anything? Now we just have a Please welcome. The floor is generally open for everybody to just say anything to encourage the family today. So, welcome everybody. Karibuni. Yeah, my name is William Mutai. To the family of John. Take heart. I know this is a very difficult moment. Even the last time, Mr. John, when you lost your aunt. My family and I had the privilege to attend uh, that funeral service because of the time I was at home. And uh, your brother, Stephen, I met him once. And even the last time when I went home at uh, the beginning of uh, last year, I visited your mom at Kapir Sang. So we will continue praying for you, Mr. John. I know this is a very difficult um, moment for you. 
being away from home. Take heart, John. This is uh, whatever has happened. We cannot uh, say anything. Um, we just have to thank God for everything. He's the one who gives life. And he's the one who takes it also. So, and his baby will call us um, stupidity stupid in the Bible. I think it's Hebrews 9, 20, is it 9, 27 or 9, 29, where it says that it's appointed for a man to die once and they have the judgment. So all of us, as Mr. Kimalel uh, said, uh, at some point, we just like passing clouds. We will die at some point. So let's just encourage one another, be there for one another, and let's uh, support the family of Mr. Kimboy during this difficult moment uh, to overcome the loss. Thank you, and let's continue praying for the family. Hello, good evening. My name is uh, Wangechi. I'm all the way from Texas. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to condolence with the Kimboi's family. Uh, I and my husband, we hold them so, so very dearly. They have been a close family to us um, for a long, long time ago. Um, and uh, I wanna take this opportunity to say Pori, Pori Sana, we know the loss of our brother is, um, something that you cannot even replace. I always say like, when you lose a parent or a sibling, those are the most two close people that you cannot even try to imagine if it can be replaced with anybody else, um, even in the community. And I know I heard that a uh, boy uh, lost one of the parent as a young person and having lost a father and then a brother, I know it's, something that is hard, and, but I wanna tell you that uh, the Lord is close to the broken hearted as people. And so he will give you comfort, he will uplift you uh, because death is something that is so hidden from us that God, sometimes we can see um, a pregnant woman and we know that a child will be, will be born. But yet when it comes to the death, sometimes we are not really able to know and uh, you know, for, for this time that you have lost your brother and as you continue to mourn, I pray that the peace of God may continue to encamp around your territories. The word says that, you know, he has, he has we should not, we let, uh, let your heart not be troubled for, I, you know, I have gone home and have prepared mansions for you. So we believe that, uh, of course, your brother now, when he is there with the daddy, he is just rejoicing. And I pray that uh, even as the Lord prepare us when you are on this journey, because we do not know the day when each one of us, the Lord will come and pick us or get us, that he'll find us prepared and ready. But even for this time, I pray that the Lord, peace be with you. I pray that everything that is needed to uh, to uh, give your brother farewell shall be provided that the Lord will be uh, provided to you that, that even in the time to come that even for the ones that are left behind the children that the Lord will watch over them and so peace to you we love you so much from Texas uh, you mean so so much to us God blessings thank you hello Hello, everyone. Um, my name is uh, Betty. I come from Marshall, Minnesota. Uncle Cheriot is my uncle. Um, I want to pass my condolences to Uncle Auntie Winnie, my cousins. I want to pass my condolences to my cousins back home, grandma and everybody, all my aunties. I want to say check out. Uh, we don't have, I don't have any word to add. Uh, Last time I saw Uncle Stephen was 2016 when I was coming to US. Uh, I want to say, take heart. We are together. We are praying. Um, I'll see you soon after the snow. Bye. Sante. Hey, Rooney. Uh, sorry. 
Uh, my name is David Kesia from uh, Wazingishu, Kenya. I'm uh, uh, the, the brother to Mama Victor uh, at Ohio. So John Kemboy and the family, uh, I take this opportunity on my own, on, my own behalf and, uh, on the behalf of the family uh, to condole with you during this difficult moment. Uh, I know the family and uh, we join you during this difficult moment. I'll join the organizing committee at Capri Sang at home and uh, I'll uh, represent, I'll pass your condolences from the diaspora. And let me take this opportunity to, uh, to really thank you, uh, brothers and sisters uh, in diaspora for standing with our brother. I know sometimes losing a loved one and uh, actually always not sometimes. Uh, and you are away, it is so painful, but may God give you strength. We don't have anything to tell you, but God has a purpose for everything. Uh, be blessed. Pauline is an amutia missing. Thank you, Brother Kish. Uh, allow me to greet uh, all of us uh, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to wish this family peace, peace that surpasses all human understanding. I know Steve was, was sick and uh, he's rested. Let's take comfort that actually he's no longer in pain. I personally used to visit Steve in hospital and I want to say the last time that I visited him, he was very sick. So to me, uh, my comfort or the, 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 the joy that I have is that Steve is no longer in pain. So mine is just to say, Poleni Sana, may God give you comfort, may God give you strength, and uh, may you find peace in the Lord. Uh, it is not easy, but with God, it is very easy because he is our comforter. So Poleni Sana, and may God give you strength. I am a friend to the family, and uh, I know... Uh, it's not been easy for all of us. It doesn't matter whether you are close, you're a brother, but uh, we are all actually mourning the loss of Steve. Uh, to those in the diaspora and especially Chiriot and uh, family, Poleni Sana. I know it's not easy for you to, to actually mourn when you are away, but take heart because Steve is in a better, a better place. So we wish him, we want to wish him um, that we want to say fare thee well, Steve, may God, Rest his soul in peace, Poleni Sana. Thank you. Thank you for your moida. Yeah, Kariboni, Opendo. The floor is open to everybody. You want to say something to the family? This is the time. Okay, I hope uh, everybody, anybody want to Hello? say anything? Can I move? Yes. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Florence, sister to John, eh? sister to Stephen. Uh, I was not able to join you when in, in the beginning, but I thank God now I've, I'm able to. I'm, I'm saying thank you people for supporting us, for being with us. Steve has been uh, unwell for quite some time. And we've seen new people being, being there with us, all mm -hmm. us in prayers. I want to say, John and family, our condolences to you. I know you are far from Bali, and the good thing is you have the support system with you there. And we know God is going to keep you peace. May, you keep, may he comfort you. May God comfort all the people in the US who are friends to John. Continue supporting each other. We thank you. And here in Kenya, we pray that God continue to comfort us as a family, as uh, we are also friends, uh, relatives. We pray that God continues to strengthen us and to give us that peace. You know, the peace from the Lord is just going to be enough because the human beings can, we can say we comfort you, but the Lord has the, is the one to comfort us. So thank you. Uh, may God bless us all, and we thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.
Asante Florence, God bless you. Thank you so much. Um, um, my name is Faith um, Chabet, and I'm um, Uncle John is my uh, John Kembo is my uncle, and um, I want to um, say sorry for the loss of the of our uncle uh, Stephen. Uh, may he uh, rest in a, a perfect peace. We pray uh, for their families now, for the family now as they are going through these hard moments. Um, I want to send my condolences to the family and friends and be, feel comforted now. And may God be with you during these hard times. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, this is uh, Robert Turi and uh, family. Honey. Uh, we are friends of the uh, uh, Kemboi family. Uh, John, Winnie, Jonathan, Joel, and uh, Blessing, uh, the Cheery family, uh, Ruth, and uh, Rachel, and myself, we send our condolences to you. It's a difficult time for you, but we pray that uh, our Lord is going to see you through. We did not know uh, your brother very well but we can see the love that you had for your brother, the deep love. And uh, we continue to pray that you get comforted, you get strengthened as a family and his family continues to get God's provision, love and grace. And we continue to pray that your family be united. We don't have much to say, but to pray that you get comforted, my brother. I have that feeling that this is a difficult, very difficult time for you, but our Lord is going to see you through as a family. The Cheery family sends their condolences. God bless you. Thank you, Robert. Hello. 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 Hello everyone, this is uh, Linus Kosge. Um, I come from the same village with uh, John Kemboy. Uh, currently I'm based here in the US, in Maryland. I also want to pass uh, condolences to Brother Kemboy and the whole family uh, for Lenny Sana, for the loss of our brother, Stephen. Uh, we will continue to pray for comfort and strength and peace for all of us and more so for the family. And uh, uh, we will support you from now until uh, uh, all the plans are completed. So, Pole, and uh, God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you. I greet you all in Jesus' name. Um, I'm Ben Sigut, based in um, Sydney, Australia. Lakini Nyumbani ni Nandi County, Toulon. So, ningependa tuniweze kuambia familia ya Kemboi kwamba Mungu aweze kuwafariji awapa amani katika mioyo yenu. And then again, when you read in the book of Revelation 21 uh, from verse 1 to you continue, yasema kwamba Mungu mwenyewe atakuta majozi yetu yote. Hapata kuwa na kiliwa, hapata kuwa na maombo leo. So, let's hope one day one time our brother Kemboi will be among brothers and sisters ambao watamlaki bwana Yesu mawinguni wakati utarumbeta hule utakapolia tarumbeta ya mwisho wale wafu watafufuliwa na walio hai wataungana pamoja nao kwa hivyo nataka nikwambie kwamba kuna ufufuo na kuna wakati wa asubuhi asubuhi huo ni wakati Kristo atakaporejea kwa hivyo ndugu yangu usipoteze eh, matumaini mtakutana ndugu yako kule mbinguni na mtakaa milele na milele inji ambayo hapatakuwa na kilio maombolesa hapatakuwa kule kwa hivyo itakuwa ni furaha milele na milele na maisha mema ya, mwish, ya, ya milele na milele Mungu aweze kuwafariji sana na aweze kuongoza God bless you thank you so much thank you
Anybody else? Uh, probably I'll give the next uh, two, one or two more people before we continue. Karibuni. Bwana sifiwe. Okay. Um, let me take this opportunity to uh, thank God for this time, uh, for giving us this chance to be able to condole with the family. I am Mrs. Sang and uh, Kemboys are our neighbors. So I want to tell them that God is their comforter and the comforter of all who are also grieving in Kenya. So mfarijike wapendwa katika wakati huu kwa sababu hatuna lingine ambalo tunaweza kufanya. We want to thank God for having given you strength and he will continue to give you strength. Uh, my husband Mwalim Sang is in Kenya right now uh, and I believe he'll also be able to attend the send off of uh, the late Steve and we pray that that day will be a day that will be done so well and uh, his glory will be seen. Praise God. Poleni sana Tekemba's family. Thank you. Hi, hi everyone. Hi. Yes, uh, my name is Sylvia and I'm a cousin to, to the family. Let's take heart. God is with us and uh, all it, it shall be well with the Lord. Yes. May God bless you, you all. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Praise the well, Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, my name is May. I want to take this opportunity on behalf of my family and myself to pass uh, condolences to the Cambodian uh, John, Winnie, Jonathan, Joe, and Blessings, and the entire family in Kenya. I just want to pray that during this difficult moment that God will um, hold you and comfort you and fill you with uh, the peace that surpasses human understanding. Um, it's really a difficult moment. And um, I know there's nothing that happens without God's uh, conscience. So I know he's able to take you through is able to uh, lift you and encourage you uh, as you continue to um, remember our breath. So may the Lord bless you to this. We will continue praying for you, asking you, and trust God he will do good. So I want to encourage my brother, uh, Boy and Winnie, and the rest of the family here. It's really difficult, especially in such a distance. Um, but I know God will be with you and continue uh, to lift you. So be strong, uh, especially even for mom. I know it's very difficult, and but we are together. May the Lord bless you so much. And thank you everybody for coming to support this dear family. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Sante, Mama Victor, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. My yes. name is uh, Roda. Roda Mutia. Roda Chepkoech Mutia, a cousin to uh, Steve, my mom and uh, Steve's mom, my sisters, although my mom has already gone to be with the Lord. Um, <clears throat> mine is just to say, Pole cousins, Pole to the whole family for what has happened. Uh, I also used to visit uh, Steve in the hospital and I could see him when he was in pain. He was, has been sick for very, very long. So just like my colleague has mentioned before, I also take comfort in the fact that now he is not in any pain, he's not struggling, because I'm sure even much as we were trying everything on this end, even family, let me just say thank you at this point. You have done so, so much. You have been with him all along the way. 
as he was unwell. He has been to many several hospitals around. Um, and uh, many times, yes, he has been able to walk out, but this particular time God has decided it's time for him to rest. So let him rest. Be, we just pray that he rest in peace. Also my comfort is in the fact that I see there's a lot of family and friends in support of this particular family. So can we all just be there for them, hold their hands, give them a shoulder to cry on. And uh, I know at the end of the day, God, uh, we are going to just say glory to God. He's the only one who can give us comfort. May he give us that comfort that surpasses all understanding. His grace is sufficient for us. He's sufficient for you. So God bless you and all the very best even as we plan to take him home to rest. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Sante sana. So, uh, tunenda kwa kipindi nyingine. But uh, before we do that, uh, honestly, kama kuna mtu wano kuna burning thing that he wants to say because uh, it's not good to fungia mutu kama kuna jambo nataka kusema. Uh, last chance for anybody to say anything to encourage the family. Hello, everyone. Uh, Hello. 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 Okay. I think we lost somebody wanted to say something, but we can hear. M Hi, MJ. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know where I can be heard. My name is Blair Choge on behalf of the Choge family. My sister's just spoken, Dr. Mutia. Um, we all are grieving with the family. We visited him in hospital. And uh, sorry, right now I'm on, in the process of dropping my daughter to school. So uh, that's the reason why probably I've not come in early, but I've been, I've been listening in. And uh, John and family, we, we are together with the family. So don't worry, we are we are um, uh, continuing just to uh, listen, I mean, to, to, do, to be with them. And uh, I think we were with, uh, we were with Nasali Florence during, uh, on Sunday, Is it on Sunday or on Saturday, on Saturday uh, with them in, the, in, in Steve's home. So we are just uh, with you as a family. Um, our, sister, our mothers were sisters. Of course, uh, uh, Dr. Ria Mesema, she, she went to be with the Lord some time back. And uh, we'll always just be together as a family. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sante. Sante Lea. So, um, you guys have from my family to you as Pole Sana, Mungu, our Penguvu. I know it's tough for you, it's tough for your family, it's tough for your kids, it's tough for everybody, your uncles and your all relatives who are size on a baby, Stephen. So I just want to say, Poleni, 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 Sana Namungu, Opatinguvu. Thank you, everybody, for joining this group. Thank you for your support. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for reaching out. And to Nenda Kumaumbi Sasa and Ninge Penda. To request uh, Reverend Sang and Pastor Clarence, who always lead this session. Pray for the family, pray for us, pray for everybody who's joining, pray for the people in Kenya, pray for all the relatives. Let's put them in the hands of God. Because they are going through a tough time. I can imagine. And uh, I've been in that situation. Many of you have been there. So, Karibu, Reverend, and Pastor Clarence to lead us in this session of prayer. I'll go to prayer. I want to just read some view verses as we, uh, so that we can pray together. I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life, even though he die. And everyone who has life 
and has committed himself to me in faith shall not die forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. After my awakening, he will raise me up and in my body, I shall see God. I myself shall see and my eyes behold him who is my friend and not a stranger. For none of us has life in himself, and none becomes his own master when he dies. For if we have life, we are alive in the Lord. And if we die, we die in the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's possession. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before your presence tonight, this morning, that God, you have gathered us together as your people to be able to comfort and even God to share the memories that God we've had with our brother, Stephen. We want to thank you, God, for the life that you gave him. We want to thank you for the lives that he touched. We want to thank you, God, for his children. We want to thank you for his brothers and sisters. We want to thank you, God, for all who are connected with him. We know that God, you put us together for a reason. And God, even having shared the life that we've shared with him, those who can remember, those even whom you cannot, cannot remember, those who have not met him, God, we have come here so that we can bear one another's burden, as your word says, and be comfort to one another, as you have comforted us, oh God. And even as we come for his family today, we want to pray that God, may you, who is a great comforter, May you, who is able to carry them through this, be with this family, that you are going to surround them with your love, that you are going to surround them with your peace. And above all, God, we pray family carry with them will be their strength. And we want to thank you, God, even for those who were able to offer be it God, even the treatment that he received. I want to thank you for those doctors, the nurses, the medical team that were involved in his life. We want to thank you, God, for those who brought his, your word to him, oh God. We know that God as a family has testified that God, mom, brought them in your way, in your love. We know that God, this time, even as we Con condole with this family. We know that Stephen is in a better place with you, God, even knowing that God we will be gathered again before you. Pray that God time in all plans that are going to take place, in all that has been planned for until day when God, the family gather together. I want to pray that God, you will go before this family, write them right at their point of need. I want to remember specific um, in the U.S. that God, you are going to be with them. All that they are go they have done for for his bro brother God, that you are going to God be a comfort, joy and blessing, and God all who are not even who are not able able to make it to Kenya that God, you are going to be with them. This, we know that you are the author and perfecter of our faith. You are God. Your word has said, God, you always there for those who are heartbroken and you, God, condole with us. May you be with us during this time until when God, we come together again, a befitting send off to Stephen, your servant. May you rest him in peace and be, give us co the, the, the consolation that we need, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you again. We thank you for uh, this occasion uh, that you have given people the heart and the desire to come and just be together with the Ken boys. And uh, we are thankful uh, for the people of Columbus and the people of Kenya and the people of uh, Australia and every other uh, continent and country represented here and city represented here, we are so thankful. 
I want to point in particular for the family back in Kenya as they plan the funeral and make all, all their different arrangements as uh, people travel, as um, even kids and other people there try to understand what, what has just happened. I pray that you help uh, both the uh, Kemboi's family here and even in Kenya have uh, some closure as they process uh, the grief, um, as they deal with difficult questions. I just I want to commit them to your hands and uh, pray that God will give them some some clarity, some understanding, help them to be able to uh, carry on in spite of the weight of the grief. We want to pray for Kemboi who is here in Columbus, uh, Columbus uh, thousands of miles away. Uh, and we just uh, pray for him, Almighty God, and uh, ask that God you uh, comfort him, that uh, him and his family, uh, either, you know, Winnie, uh, Jonathan, Blessing, and Joe, that uh, you be their comforter, that you give them peace. Um, at this time, we want to uh, just ask uh, that uh, you help them in the plans that they make, uh, whether, it, whether it's travel, whether it's uh, uh, hosting events, etc. that all these events will help in the grief uh, process. We are asking that God, you, as a people, when you experience so much death in our community, that God, you help us to um, not take things for granted. Help us, Almighty God, to make the most of the opportunities that you give us, to make the most of the time that you give us, to live life with a sense of urgency, at the same time to uh, live uh, with a sense of fullness. God, we uh, pray that uh, all these things will give us some clarity, those of us who are surviving. We are thankful, Almighty God, because your presence is always with us, because your comfort is always available to us. We ask that your comfort will be uh, plenty for the composed family and for the rest of us who need it at this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Reverend Sun. Thank you, uh, Pastor Clarence. So uh, before we say the grace, uh, back to the family, what to pati last word, and then Pamoja, uh, we will say the grace. Karibu wini, ama kimboi. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, at this point, you don't even know what to say. You feel your love, you feel your support. And we want to thank God who is the giver of life. The Bible says that in him we live and move and we have our being together. He's the giver of life and he's the sustainer. He's the one that has kept us this far. And uh, he's also the one that did us and he was able to take him home. So as much as this is so hard for us, as a family, my husband John, for the children that are also grieving, he brings uh, my in-laws back in Kenya for students, children, my cousins in Kenya, um, the in-laws. This is very hard for us, but having you here tonight means extremely so much for us. So we feel and uh, thank you so much for turning in tonight. Uh, um, it's very hard for us to imagine that you're saying bye. I did not get to meet him. I know I have talked to him on the phone, and I know John have told me so much about him. I'm a big musician in Kenya, as a, I think a senior CID in Kenya, but he was a very humble person, not even tell. Uh, he just and he, the people that he worked with really respected him, and uh, he showed up. So probably that's something to learn from him. And at this point, um, I saw him in his husband. We really prayed for him. We really prayed. And everything when we had my devotion here at home, we used to take time every day to go to pray for him. And so I read for the children because we see him here for a long time. And, uh, who did not get well, um, just to explain to them about the issue that like he said, and the way that God is a whole lot of life. Uh, so that's um, something that I uh, continue to talk to them about. But we have gone for the years that we are doing the same. Really? Hold on. Uh, in Lango, hmm? yeah. There is uh, something going on. Tunapotea maneno. Maneno inapotea kidogo. Mm -hmm. It's not very clear from your side. I don't know what's going on. Something 
in a Karakata Sauti. I don't know, Kamani. You want to try again? Just continue to where you left. I'm going to use the phone. I'm going to use okay. the computer. So, can you hear me now? Yeah, much better. Yep. Yeah. You can hear me? Yes, yes, yes good. Can. Yeah. So what I was saying is that we really want to appreciate you, everybody that was able to log in. Thank you so much for people from here, all the way from Australia and um, in Kenya, and even in other parts of the United States. We really feel your love and your comfort. We really want to appreciate you for being here for us tonight. I was saying that personally, I was not able to meet with uh, my brother in law Stephen, but I have heard so much about him from uh, my husband and my siblings, and even when I call my mother, you know, we talk with her, I've heard so much about him. And um, we just wanna thank God because God is the giver of life. You know, it is very hard for us to say bye-bye to him at this point, but we believe that all of us are getting there. And what we need to encourage ourselves with, what we need to ask ourselves tonight is, are we ready? Because our day is also coming. So we wanna encourage ourselves in the Lord, and thank you so much for studying with us. So um, at this point, I just um, wanted to say thank you to everybody, mostly everybody that was able to log in tonight. I know some, probably some people have left. Thank you so much for coming to be with us. We really do appreciate every one of you. We don't take it for granted. I know it is a work day. And uh, even in Kenya, people are taking their children to school. And we know it has taken uh, just some commitment for you to be with us tonight. So thank you very much. We also want to thank everybody that um, prayed for Uncle Stephen. I had some ladies that were praying with me. Uh, we also were praying with him here at home. I know there are other people that were praying for him in Kenya and other parts of the, of the world. Thank you so much. I know that our prayers are not in vain. Uh, we also continue to pray for his children. He has three children. We pray that God will comfort them. And even uh, my mother-in-law, my siblings, that the Lord will continue to comfort them. We also want to thank um, everybody that gave financially. Thank you very much. There are a lot of people that gave. Uh, the financial strain when we were taking care of Stephen was a little, uh, it became heavy for us at one point. And my sister, Sally, and my other uh, uh, in-laws in Kenya and us here were able to organize a, a little fundraising to help with his medical expenses. And we just want to appreciate everybody that gave him towards that. Also, uh, after everybody heard about uh, 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 Uncle Stephen passing away, uh, there's so many people that have given their finances. We don't take it for granted. Thank you so much for your support. We want to appreciate everybody of you because you know you didn't give out, out, out of your abundance, you give out of your needs. May the Lord bless you so much. We also want to thank God, um, the, a group called Faliji uh, for their support, their financial support. We really do appreciate you because uh, your support will help us probably give our brother a befitting funeral. Um, and thank, um, thank everybody that was able to send some messages to console us as a family. Thank you so much for your prayers. We still continue to need our, your prayers in uh, words of comfort. Thank you very much. And also everybody that was able to come, able to come and see us here in Columbus, uh, the people that visited with us. Um, it's very, uh, when you have people coming to visit with you when you're grieving, it really means so much. And as a family, we felt your love. Thank you, thank you very much. We didn't take it for granted. And uh, also, uh, I want to say something about Pastor Sang, Leverage Sang. Surely we don't even know what to say. Apart from being our pastor, one of our pastors here in Columbus, you are more of a pastor, but a brother to us. You have really touched our hearts. Pastor Sang, when he's traveling in Kenya, we don't discuss about him going to see our brother Stephen. We don't discuss about him going to see our mother-in-law. He just calls us when he's at my mother-in-law's compound. Oh, I'm here with your mother. You wanna say hi to him? And he even takes some goodies to my mother-in-law. We, uh, we, we don't take it for granted. And the many times he has gone to Kenya, he has gone to visit with our brother. And uh, we really, really appreciate you, uh, Leverage Sang. Thank you so much for all the sacrifice. You know, uh, people, when they travel to Kenya, they are very busy, but um, you really did it for us. Thank you. May the Lord bless you so much. And my prayer to you, our prayer to you as a family, uh, may the Lord who sees in secret really reward you because I know 
uh, you did it um, not only as a pastor, but um, you just had a burden to go even talk to him. And thank you so much. Actually, uh, Pastor Leverett saw our brother, I think on Thursday before he passed on on Friday when he was traveling back. And we were hesitant to tell everybody that uh, our brother has passed on. We we're just waiting for Leverett's son to get here so we can break the news to everybody. But uh, we really want to appreciate you, Leverett son. God bless you so much. You have felt your love. You have felt your, uh, um, um, just your love towards our family. And also, Baba Victor, you have been here with us every day. We really appreciate you and your family. And also, all the pastor team, all the pastors that are here, we want to appreciate you, every uh, Pastor Grace, uh, uh, Victory Point Fellowship, and everybody that have really uh, helped to organize the memorial tonight. Thank you, thank you so much. Even for a pastor from Australia that was able to share with us, I was being told that uh, her babysitter was not feeling well. And you can see the sacrifice and even when she uh, did not have a babysitter, she still showed up. Thank you very much. We just wanna thank everybody from Kenya that was able to log in. Uh, I know it is a little early in Kenya. Uh, you're taking your children to school. Having been able to log in tonight was a little commitment from your end. God bless you so much. We still continue to need your prayers. Um, I know the journey has just begun. Our brother will be blessed on Saturday. Uh, let's uh, keep praying for all of us. Thank you so much. I was encouraged to even see my uh, in-laws, my cousins uh, from my uh, husband's side. Um, thank you so much. I can't wait to, wait to meet you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Winnie. Thank you for those encouraging words. We are blessed. Uh, we to encourage. It's the other way we want to console you guys, but your words are really encouraging to hear from you. Then, uh, Kim Boy, I'm a Jonathan, I'm one of the young boys. You want to say anything else before we say the grace of God? Okay. It seems they are out of. So, uh, view. So uh, tunaenda kukamilisha na ningependa kama Pastor Grace you are still online uh tuongoze tu kusema the grace na tuweze kufunga hii Zoom ya leo. Na washukuru sana kwa kufika vile Winnie amesema. Thank you thank you so much. I mean words cannot express the gratitude now, what you guys have done for this family, God bless you so much. Karibu, Pastor Grace. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Kimarel, for leading us in that section. I want to really appreciate all of you for coming in and to condole the family, to be with the family. May God bless you. May God uplift you. Thank you so much also, uh, the Brother Jonathan's family, uh, for even allowing us even to have these prayers. May God bless you, and uh, we continue to pray for you for God's strength. Just few updates as we conclude um, to say the grace. I just want to let you know that uh, on the funeral day, we are going to have a Zoom meeting uh, that is being organized. Uh, so already we have someone who is going to go to the ground to do the Zooming. And Dr. Kesha, I'm going to connect you with uh, Manuela Kemboy, uh, who is going to be Zooming for us. So, and then we'll provide another Zoom because this one will be used in another service. So we are going to provide another Zoom to the family and then the family will share for those who want to join them and also our churches for those who will be able to wake up uh, very early in, like i think it will be around 12 1 2 p.m eastern time here in us as they began at 10 o'clock so please uh for those who are able to let's join the family as uh we because i really wanted the uh, boys family to be able to give their condolences and i saw the youtube and uh, the facebook they will not be able to talk but i know with the zoom they are able to connect and they are going they are able to give their condolences so please uh, for those who will be available on friday night going to saturday morning please let's join the family we'll provide the zoom link for that and then con let's continue supporting them financially i think i have already posted the um on the chat uh, the the zell and the cash up for our sister winnie Kimboy. please feel free to reach them out and also to uh, do the contribution and also pray for them the main thing that also we need is the prayers and also keep on encouraging them. Otherwise, God bless you, all of you, for coming in. May God continue to shine upon you. 
let the face of God be upon you and shine on you and be and God to be gracious unto you. May the Lord continue to keep you in your going out, in your coming in, and continue trusting in the Lord. And the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding to be upon each and every one of us. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Brother Kimale, you can log off the Zoom. You are the host. Yep. Very good. Thank you, Bala Kimale. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. Yeah, no, you're welcome. Mm -hmm.